how to create Instagram ads in Meta Ads Manager. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can create Instagram ads. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, I'm on Meta, right? This is Meta Instagram advertising. And what we're gonna do over here is we can go ahead and log in. You can also go over to Meta Ads Manager over here. If you just simply search for it, it'll pop up. They're all connected, so it's fine. It doesn't really matter or change anything. All you got to do is just go ahead and sign in with your Facebook account. So I'm already logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out from this one, log into the other one, which is connected to Instagram. And then I'm going to show you how you can connect. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into it. It all depends on you. It's simply you don't really need to sign up. All you got to do is have a Facebook account. And once you have that, you can just log in into Meta and you are good to go. So over here, you can see go to Ads Manager and start now. So click on go to Ads Manager and you can go ahead and run Instagram ads. Same for here over here. You can put boost a post by clicking on the button over here. They're all in interconnected and they all lead to the same spot. And once you're over here, this is the ad manager. This is where you can create your ad campaign as well. So here, what you're going to do is you want to click on create campaign, right? And over here, if you want, you can go ahead and select engagement, click on continue and click on manual engagement campaign. You can go with this one. It totally depends on you, but I'll go with manual. And here you can go ahead and categorize your ads, right? There's also another cool way that if you have a Instagram business account, or if you've connected or converted your account into a professional account, you will see you have a bunch of different options. So you can see right here, we have the dashboard, right? So if I come over here onto profile, click on this button right here on the cob wheel, go into professional account. You can see my account is already uh, connected and it's already converted into professional account. And it gives me these creator tools as well, which is this dashboard right here, which will allow me to go ahead and boost content. All right. So this reel is getting likes. So if I click on it and okay, it's not working, but let me click on this button right here. And I can also create ads from here as well, right? You can use the ads manager. It totally depends on you, but you can also use this section over here. Why is this not working? Click on boost content, select the post, click on next, and you can boost it right here. Uh, but for this video, we are going to be using the ads manager for that. So we're going to come over here. This is going to be boosting reels. We're going to categorize the ads if, if it lands on one of these, but if not, we can leave it at that. We don't need uh, categorized ads. Next is going to be the buying type. We have auction, we have reservation. I'll leave it at this one. We don't really need to go with that. And our objective is campaign. So that's fine as well. Next is going to be next. We're going to click on next. Now we're going to select what it is that we want. We want Instagram page. We don't want the messenger. So we're going to select Instagram and choose the Facebook page that you want to work with, right? It's important that you do that you use this. And next we want maximum numbers of conversion. That's fine. And we also have budget right here. So we can set daily budget to whatever option we want. Right now, my account hasn't been verified, but that's fine. Uh, we can skip this. I'm just going to show you and skip over this and show you how you can set the ads. So for the daily budget, it's better to go with the recommended amount for the first time. Uh, if you don't have the budget, you can go ahead and go with a little bit less. And then from there, you can give it a couple of days, like a week and see how it runs. If it's working well, then you can go ahead and increase the budget overall. If not, you can go ahead and come back over here lower it increase it depending upon what it is that you are getting if you're getting the proper results then of course increase it so that you get more but if you're not getting as much reach as you thought you would by spending a lot of money you can go ahead and lower the budget and see whether or not you're still getting those numbers if you are that means your budget is perfect we want to go ahead and move somewhere over here we don't want too broad we don't want too narrow we want something in between so next over here we can schedule it if you want you can schedule it but i don't want to leave it over here we can even see the estimated reach over here as well next is going to be our audience and locations so if you have a specific audience you can upload them over here you can click over here and use them but if not we should be good to go next is going to be location select the location where you want to run ads so let's say we want to run ads on la we drop the pin over here boom and here we have the radius uh, we can increase the radius over here. You can see uh, if you want, you can increase it by this much, but it totally depends on you. But I'll go with something like this. 
I think this looks good. We can move it around, but uh, yeah, I think a 10 kilometer radius is okay, but or maybe four. Yeah, that's that looks okay. I'll click on next. Sorry, I'm, I, I didn't mean to click on next. I wanted to add another location as well. So here we have another location browse. Uh, we could go with countries over here, but totally depends on you. Let's say we want Simi Valley. We'll also add another. Can we add another? All right, let's go ahead and add one more to San Fernando over here. I think I can only drop one pin at the time, so we can't add. It just took a little while. All right, for the second one, again, I'm going to go with another four kilometers or nine kilometers. That's fine as well. So, yeah, that looks okay. If you want to remove a location, just click on the cross button and it'll remove it. And then we have the advanced audience, of course, uh, if you have an audience section or if you already have a plan or if you already have a list, you can go ahead and add it. But this is basically where you set your demographic. Uh, you can go ahead and set the age, the genders and the detail targeting. So including people whom you match with. So you can add interests, behaviors and demographics over here. But I think this looks OK. Uh, I will, however, change the age group from 18 to all the way down to, let's say, click on, yeah, I think that looks good. Click on save if you want to save it, but I think this is okay. Then we'll click on next. Next is going to be the ad creative or the ad name. This is where you add the new engagement, right? So you create an ad or use an existing post, right? Here, we're going to use an existing post and we're going to select this post right here. This is the post that, it, that we have. So we're going to select this one and we can see multi advertisement, but yeah, that post looks good. We can even select the Facebook option over here, use multi-advertisement. So what this does is you can uh, appear alongside other ads in the same unit to help people discover your product. If you want to, you, sh you can go ahead and do that. So we selected the post and now all that's left for us to do is to add the other options like payment details and uh, conversation or automated chat or partner app and tracking, right? pretty cool so over here you just set the engagement the enhancements url parameters and then you hit the publish button of course you will need to upload a payment method because of course you do need to add the payment method but other than that you have basically created the ad over here you're running the ad as i said before you can also do this exact same thing over here but currently i think it's not working but again click on next you can create the ad over here for some reason it's not working i think something is down right now so uh but you can do the exact same thing over here you have the ad tools at your disposal you can create content boost ads or create ads and you of course you have your payment settings over here you can upload your payment settings and that will also help you uh move along with with this ad in the ad manager as well so there you have it that's how you do it that's how you run ads or you advertise or create Instagram ads in the Meta Ads Manager. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.